Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool Android app called Hyperlapse from Microsoft Mobile for Android devices. This app, I've been using it for a while already, but it was available only in beta and by invitation only. But now it's available for everybody to download through the Play Store. So I'll leave a link for that in my descriptions. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and show you guys if you never used this before, how to use it. Uh, you have two options. You either import a video that you already recorded with your camera on your phone or you record a video using the app. When you tap right here, I rather use the import, but this is another way you could do it. Uh, you here you have the option to choose to front camera. You have a flash. You touch right there, it goes to flash. Uh, right here, uh, there's practically no settings whatsoever. Like see there, uh, very simple camera. You tap right here, it starts recording. Like you see there, it starts recording. You can see the time right there. You can see the the 4x right there is recording at 4x, which uh, I think it's normal. And uh, once you're done, let's say blah, 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 blah. once you're done, you click it. It's preparing hyperlapse. And from right here, like you see, you can see the video of what you recorded. And you have this bar right here, which you you can go ahead and control the speed of the video. You can go ahead and put it very slow. Uh, you can go ahead and put it uh, very fast. 8x, 16x, and 32x. And like you see, it's going to keep on going in a loop very, very fast, up to 32x. And when you're done, you just select that right there. You select the check. And it'll save the hyperlapse video. All done. What's next? Blah blah. You can share it. You can make uh, create a new speed of the new video, or you could create a new video, just like that. Very very simple. Uh, I rather use this option right here. Is import a video, record a video. You know, with your camera. Uh, let's go ahead and choose a video over here, which I have, which I recorded the other, uh, almost like uh, three uh, weeks ago. This right here is a video that I took and um, crossing the, oh crap, I didn't want to import it yet. No, I don't want to import it yet. Just want to show you guys for a second. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. Uh, da, 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 this right here. Uh, so this video right here, let me see if I could actually play the video without importing. No, I cannot. But like you see here, this is the route that I took which is crossing the Franklin Mountains where I live at. See there. And right now you could choose where you want the video to start, where you want the video to end, which is a lot more convenient. Then choose then choose the uh, um, checkpoint or check mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Importing video. This video is a lot longer. This is like, uh, I think it's like a five minutes and a couple more seconds. So, like you see there, the longer the video, the longer the process of importing the video is going to take. So, let's go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay, finally. Wow, that took a while. It took around almost 10 minutes. So keep that in mind that it's going to take a while before the video. If you shoot it, it doesn't matter if you shoot it with the camera, then uh, import it. It's going to take a while. And here it is. Like right now, I could go ahead and select the speed that I want 16. Look at that. That looks very, very cool. And 32. As well, awesome. And basically, whenever you want the speed that you want, you just go ahead. For example, this one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose. Um, let me see, 32. Too fast. I use that one. Click done. And now it's gonna go ahead and save the video to my gallery. Okay, all done. So the video is done. So now you have the option to either um, share the video, uh, make a new speed of the same video, or go in and record another video. Um, if you want to play it, let's go and see here. I, I think it should show you the final product. Yep. 
that's the final product that we chose. Look at that. And the great thing is with this app that um, it maintains the quality of the video. It does not make your video look worse. I, I've used other hyperlapse video before and I don't like the way it, it looks you know, af afterwards. Uh, and that's it, once you're done, you can either go ahead and record another video. Like you see here, you could go ahead and edit another video at a different speed. But other than that, you could just go ahead and finish here, you go ahead and finish there. Um, if you want to check the video out, it's, the video is going to be in your gallery. So let's go ahead to here, check, look for your gallery right here. Uh, gallery. Let's go and check for um, albums or movies right here. And it's right there. Click right there. Click done. And there you have it very awesome so guys that's it just wanted to share this uh little video with you guys uh this was a uh, microsoft hyperlapse mobile for android devices i'm going to leave a, a link in my descriptions that way you go ahead and try it out yourself till next time guys